The city of Axtell, the high school football team, is something they take great pride in. And this season, three players are giving their community another reason to celebrate. KSNT News reporter Raina Garcia is live in Axtell to tell us how the accomplishments will go in the history books. Raina. Brooke Jays here at this field. Hunter Cook cemented his legacy as one of the best football players in Axtell history. I spoke with him about what his accomplishments mean to him and to the community. Hunter Cook has been nothing short of impressive during his time at Axtell. By the end of it, he had 63 career receiving touchdowns, with 33 of them being in his senior season. That makes him the all-time eight-man career touchdown reception leader, as well as the all-time single season touchdown reception leader. Cook says he never imagined setting records like that because he originally started out as a quarterback. I never really thought I'd be playing receiver, but started off quarterback and then they kind of switched Quinn busting an eye around and we kind of found our spots there. His coach Eric Detweiler says Cook continued to improve every year as a player and as a leader. You know, Hunter had some special talents that, you know, I don't think he understood that he had, but, uh, you know, once he learned some techniques and, uh, uh, you know, he's really quick, really shifty on the football field and, you know, just, just a great kid to teach and, and uh, you know, be around. One of the things Cook says he'll miss the most is playing under the Friday night lights in front of everyone in the Axel community. Everyone comes out to the game, they support the players, and it gets really, really fun sometimes when you're out there scoring touchdowns and you're winning. His teammates Nate Bussing and Tristan DeConing will be joining him in Beloit for that eight-man All-Star game this summer. Live in Axtell, Reyna Garcia, KSNT News. Thank you, Reyna. And so far, Hunter has received an offer to play football at McPherson College.